Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Let's Play Our Time 4. No step back as Russia. Let's continue on for that stuff off. So we are now at war with the Allies. Because they guaranteed the uh, independence of Estonia. Livonia invaded Estonia. And, of course, Livonia is in our uh, faction. We're still waiting on maybe, like, a few more people to join. We're in a second. We are going to go into war with Turkey. And the British have already completely kicked Italy out of Africa. Again, we're okay. I'd actually prefer if Italy did die to the Allies. It means we're only going to attack one faction. Because right now, as things stand, we would need to go to war with the, the Japanese as well. Which I kind of, like, don't want to do. Because Japan's got a pretty large army. And I don't want to fight a two-front war for, I think, obvious reasons. Just like at any other point in history. Um, so if we can avoid it, that would be nice. We're never going to get the oil so we can ignore you. Army command is basically awful. He's like, not good at all. We do we even have a naval commander? Okay, we do. Decisive battle. I mean, we're basically only going to go for experience. I guess we'll go experience gain. 0.16 is actually quite a bit. That's just going to slowly give us uh, naval doctrines. Which we can use to boost our ability in um, submarine warfare. How do you guys feel about this? You actually feel pretty confident. We're going for a regular battle plan on you, though. Do our real networks connect? They do not. Okay, so that's actually something we do need to be prepared for. Let me go to construction, rail network, build a rail network here so this will connect after the, after we connect, or after we take this province. Otherwise, our supplies are going to get kind of uh, cut off immediately. After that, let us go for and establish the third Rome. And I will declare war on you. We might go to war with, wait, if we go to war with Czechoslovakia. You're guaranteeing the independence check of, of you. I don't know why, but you know what? Whatever. Going to go to war with Turkey. Naval invasion should launch immediately. Yeah, they join the allies. You're now here as well. 181. Not mine's 81. I guess it's based on how much not aligned they have here. Do any of you guys want to join my faction? No. Actually, it's not based on that. Yeah, so we can kill Turkey and then move our way down into uh, the Middle East. Capture uh, Palestine, capture Istanbul. And in a moment, we're holding up Turkish units here. We've captured the city. And now we can take these provinces as well. I don't think, yeah, you can't get uh, through here. So let's capture this. But Istanbul is now completely under Russian control. You can join the war. You can join the war. We have a against you, but I would prefer not to push it right now. Because you don't want to contain aggression against Italy. Something like threatened by us, opinion, world tension. Uh, yeah, I mean, there's really nothing else we can do to get Germany on side other than just wait for them to maybe... Negative 300. None of you guys want to be on my faction. And I don't think we can really see, like, who's close. We can go to Ideology, go to Not Aligned, and see who's, like, maybe... 201, you are at negative 201. Yeah, I mean, we don't really have many choices here, unfortunately. You can... Wait, no, you. Move your way into this province, please. We can take cars, which should allow us to connect these railroads together. I don't think they'll connect immediately. We will have to, uh... Connect it like that. But that should only take, like, a week. Yeah, we, well, I mean, there's a battle going on there, so it won't tell us right away. But it shouldn't take that long. Then you guys, congratulations on your invasion of Turkey. You're gonna go from this direction. And I'm gonna bring in all of you onto the Istanbul front. I don't think we need troops around here anymore. We don't have air superiority over Asia Minor. They have 100 fighters. We have zero right now. You're fighters, right? Yeah. The so flight Istanbul. And then fly over here. Give us a little bit of air coverage. And the right, yeah, you should be okay with that. 
75 percent Poland is gonna war on the national republic of poland the king of poland's looking pretty good they're close to actually agreeing to an alliance you have no units okay so you're not gonna last very long i can tell you that right now you have no so why do you have no supplies convoys are halted why No convoys have access here. Are you sure about that? Well, they should have access from here. No? I have a feeling that you should get... I'm going to block access here. Maybe that'll fix it. Because you should have supplies coming in from Sevastopol. Oh, you just became a puppet of Livonia. Okay, sure, why not? Not really what I was expecting, but, you know, that's another free 60 units. Are you going to unite into, like, one big country? I mean, possibly, but, I mean, a Bucharest Pact? I don't care if Poland's our puppet or a puppet of, you know, Livonia. It doesn't really make a big difference to me. But it doesn't mean that our units now can move their way into Czechoslovakia, and they won't last, I think, too long. Actually, yeah, you guys hold position, then. I'm gonna get half of you, I guess, just to fall back to here. If supplies are, for some reason, a little bit busted. No colors have access. I think the convoys are trying to come from St. Petersburg and sail all the way around, even though that makes no goddamn sense in any capacity. And now supplies are a little bit less bad. I mean, they're still not great, but they're less bad. Um, Anti-aircraft guns, I don't think we really need. You can go with a bit more military factories for now. Get more war propaganda, get a war sport up as high as possible. Czechoslovakia does apparently have just like an absolutely massive army for no well-explained reason. Even then, you're like, your supplies are still not good. Should I build a, um... I mean, even if I build a supply depot here, I don't think it actually would do anything, right? Like, we would need access through Bulgaria. Not okay. You know, there's an naval invasion of Greece happening. The British are trying to land troops here. We can kick the British out for sure. Get them out of here. And we've kind of have already, you know, we've hit a little bit of a roadblock. Being that Turkey is actually a lot more powerful than I originally thought they would be. Uh, which I'm not happy with, I can tell you that. By the way, Livonia, do you get any more free puppet countries? Our Marcus militias, restore the Commonwealth. You just annex all of Poland, you become the Polish Lithuanian Commonwealth. I mean, that's fine. Again, you being underneath one country or two countries really doesn't make a difference to me. I'm just, I'm just kind of pissed off that you don't have supplies. So you should have supplies. They should be coming from Sevastopol. By the way, how are you guys doing? I know your uh, supply depot's not built yet, but it should be built, I think, relatively soon. We're not building any more infantry. We do have 40,000 guns, so you know what? First things first, we probably actually want to go up to limited conscription. We have to wait uh, a little bit on that, though, for right now. thing is, like, Turkey, it's got a, like, a... I don't know if you know this about Turkey. It's got a lot of mountains. More mountains than any reasonable person would have. And again, we'll prepare for an invasion into you. 
Mongol, you prepare for an invasion into the south. Can yeah, too, like, and I'm not, not really too sure why you're not getting annexed, because I feel like you should be. Yeah, and you'll be done... 87 days. Okay, thank you. Is there any area in Turkey that's, like, flat? Terrain map mode. Because yellow is hills, brown is... So there, there's plains in the middle of Turkey. But there's a lot of mountains and hills to actually get there. Like, once I think you get into, um... Yeah, once you get into Syria, it's basically, you know, some deserts. I mean, it's, this desert's not great, but it's not mountains. Turkey just is a country that sucks to fight in. 91 days, we'll take it. Somehow Yugoslavia is still alive. The Italians are doing a fantastic job there. Base reluctance. It, it's really that not aligned. If they were not, not aligned, they would love to join my faction. But... I mean, improve relations, revoke guarantee. Our improvements are already, like, maxed out. We really can't do anything about that. So yeah, there's like nothing we can really do to make them like us more. Other than if France or something went to war Germany, but I don't know why they would. Where's our next supply depot? We've got cars here. Which should be maxed. Okay, maybe not maxed though. We'll go to at least here. And then these ports in Istanbul. Keep pressing our buttons. F4 for this. Upgrade railways, allied. I mean, we can actually get cut off supplies for allies, which I think is hilarious. Yeah, because these, these counter supply hubs, we can't really do anything about that. We would really just need a... Um... Yeah, the thing is, that, yeah, they really don't want to be in this war. I mean, one if Italy were to fall to the French, whether or not Germany would be more inclined to actually join the war, that they might feel a little bit threatened by the um, by the Russians or by the uh, the French, I should say. It okay, goes to limited conscription. The Third Rome has been established, as the importance of religion is increasingly felt throughout our nation. The status of the church is once again attained, nay, exceeded what it once was. It's only natural that we solidify our commitment to God by elevation as for his foremost representative to the position of national leader. Today, uh, dual ground ceremonies of Savior Cathedral and uh, Church of the Dormantine of Moscow, Meltis, and Harbor and Manchuria, elected in honor of his service to the exile cause, with was both enthralled as Patriarch of Moscow and all of Russia, as well as Crown Tsar of all Russias. With it, this final ultimate unification of church and state, there is no obstacle remaining to the execution of the will of God on this earthly theater. Well, we are now the third room. Beautiful uh, Byzantine color here. Now that that is done, we could go for war gold against you. This for a cost of bellies against the. Um... Wait, can he do this? Oh, you can't. Okay, you can't go Slavic nationalism and this, but you can actually still go for Slavic commitments. Yeah, let's become defender of the Slavs. Czechoslovakia, Poland, Yugoslavia, Bulgaria. Only one of those countries is not actually in a faction, but I mean, having Bulgaria on our side would give me rail networks to uh, Istanbul, and I'd be very happy to see that. We actually have a lot of allies around here, which, like, I, I don't, I don't want them here. To be quite honest, I want them like anywhere else. We got some Czechoslovakian troops. Hopefully, we can get them crushed. Yes, I gave him a cause ability against, uh, against the UK, but we're already at war with them, so it doesn't really do anything for us. Yeah, like, nobody really feels confident with a, with a, with an attack right now. And, you know, I, I completely understand. I would also not really want to attack right now. Hey, Germany, you want to be in my faction? Still no, huh? I mean, I know it'll pop up in the top, but... You know, at the same time... I do think that you should just unite the Commonwealth, claim Greater Lithuania, seize Eastern Prussia, Owensburg. So you actually just you just just take over German territory. And again, I don't want to do that because I don't want to go to war with the Germans. I feel like that would be bad for us. 
I don't... I'm defender of the Slavs. I wonder if that make them more likely to join our faction. It would be nice. We've taken now... We've taken over Slovakia. Well, we've taken over uh, Eastern Slovakia. Yeah, it's still something. Any part of Slovakia is a good part of Slovakia. We're actually going to reduce our troops to just be on the... Um, on the train network. Where is your next port? It's right here in Izmir. So we can take this province, then take Izram. Their supply lines would be severely underdeveloped. Uh, and I'd be happy to see that again. We don't want uh, peace with you. At least not yet. And at some point, we probably also want to invade Finland, kill them. We probably need to kill everybody in, uh, in Scandinavia at some point. Which is, like, not really what I wanted to do, but it, it's just a natural consequence of how things have uh, played out. I'm gonna send you to this army. Yeah, well, I mean, soon we'll be able to kill Finland. And they probably deserve it, right? Finland probably deserves the, uh, the punishment. And I'm surprised you're really doing really, really bad against France. You know, again, France capitulates super, super easily. I'm just trying to think. German aggression, opinion of Third Rome, world tension. That 90s, it's actually gone down a point. But again, that wouldn't really make a big difference here. Like, I wonder maybe if we kill Czechoslovakia, maybe we can um, incorporate them into our alliance somehow. How about our supplies? A 30, 40% breakthrough debuff. Really not what we wanted to see. Can I actually upgrade railways here? I don't think so. I think railways are basically as... Oh, no, no. We can, we can definitely upgrade railroads. We get that going where we can. Yeah, I mean, a breakthrough is, like, really bad. So we, we've stalemated in Turkey. Okay, I think we can all agree on that. The Turkish front has come to a complete standstill. Also, what do you want to do? War bonds? Just less consumer goods factory? I don't think I really need that, though. I feel like we're actually okay. I want more rubber. We'll get that from the Dutch. We'll at least try to get that from the Dutch. But, I mean, our convoy numbers are still terrible. Okay, we got British troops landing their way near uh, Danzig. Actually, yeah, these troops that I have stationed on the Polish border don't actually do anything anymore. Let's make sure the British don't get too far here. Uh, this army I'm going to put onto the border of Czechoslovakia. Not all of Czechoslovakia. Just send them, like, in these two provinces. Of course, Czechoslovakia, it's another country with a ton of mountains. They're going to seize Danzig in a moment. Take Danzig. Ah, eh, maybe they won't take it. We got one brave Polish unit defending it. And I believe in it with all my heart. Somehow, again, Yugoslavia is still holding out. And what is your... Attack's pretty bad. Defense is pretty bad. I mean, all of our supplies are just hot garbage right now. Wait, wait. Hungary joined the... Hungary joined the Allies. When did that happen? I don't know, but I don't like it. But actually, that should mean that, hey, you guys here, uh, I'm going to immediately deploy you on the Hungarian border. By the way, Hungary, you will notice in a second that you are completely encircled by enemy forces. I'm going to say it probably wasn't the best idea for you to join the allies. I think any other faction would have been smarter. I mean, what can I do? Your independence is guaranteed by Sweden. Oh, no. Not Sweden. Actually, will they get called into the war against us? I mean, I would say that that would be a stupid idea. Don't go to Danzig. They do actually have a poor province, which is a little bit annoying for us. How many units do the British have? 44 to 144. Okay, so that's a pretty big margin. I have no idea how many men they have. They can have anywhere between a little and a lot. How many men do I have? 
Like, we're on 123 ourselves, so I, I doubt the British have 144. By the way, is this supply depot built yet? Still no, it'd be done it'd be done in like a month. And then we can maybe push our way into the British Raj. But at least for right now, I think this will be a good time for us to end this episode. Thanks everybody for watching. Thanks for me. If you enjoyed my thumbs up, now nah, enjoy, click thumbs down. If you want to see more subscribe and goodbye.